Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Loharan. I'm a board certified upper cervical chiropractor. Today we're going to be talking about the vagus nerves. I've done multiple videos where I've talked about them, but I've never done one where I've just gone through what the details are and why they're important. So what are they? They are the major controllers of the parasympathetic nervous system. The vagus nerve, or cranial nerve 10, is also known as the wandering nerve. It has this nickname because the nerve wanders from the brain down the cervical spine, the chest, and then enters the diaphragm. From there, it innervates all the major digestive organs. This is a simplified image of the nerve. Here is a more detailed image of the vagus nerves. They are composed of 20% efferent and 80% afferent fibers. All these fibers are being sent from the brain to the body or the body to the brain. Think of it like information. Information about regulating digestion, heart rate, and respiratory rate. They also have a role in coughing, sneezing, swelling, vomiting, and even bowel motility and urinary frequency. Research has shown the vagus nerves make up 75% of all parasympathetic signals in the body. So you can see why there's been a huge buzz within the scientific community. Because if we can activate or stimulate these nerves, we are able to cause a systemic parasympathetic effect on the entire nervous system. Think about anxiety management or managing headaches and all of the digestion problems that people suffer from all around the world. If we're able to activate these nerves, we can cause a systemic rest and digest effect. I came across this article earlier this week that's actually discussing all of the points here. Of course, the article starts off with what is the vagus nerve, but then immediately dives into a connection between the nervous system and the immune system via the vagus nerve. This is really important because this is a way to decrease inflammation without the use of drugs. They studied Wim Hof, who uses a breathing technique to lower his heart rate and do amazing things in freezing temperatures. They found his inflammatory markers were lower, however, his technique also stimulated the sympathetic nervous system. But this study showed the possibility of using vagal nerves to decrease systemic inflammation. But then we get to this part, their proposed solution to implant a surgical device to stimulate the vagus nerve. Wow, that is incredible. I mean, if we are able to find a device that would activate these nerves, we can help so many people. But I don't know about you guys, but I don't know how I feel about having my neck cut open and having a device implanted onto my nerve to help stimulate it. I don't know, that's just me, but there must be another way. Which brings me to the anatomy of the upper cervical spine. Yep, the vagus nerves sit right in front of C1. As they exit the brain and go down into the diaphragm, they pass right in front of the C1 vertebrae. So if you have a misalignment of the upper cervical spine, yes, that is C1, then you're having unequal efferent stimulation of the vagus nerves from the brain. So a precise adjustment of the C1 vertebrae by an upper cervical chiropractor not only balances the C1 bone, but also balances vagal nerve tone. This is why many patients get really sleepy after their first upper cervical adjustment because their parasympathetic nervous system is literally switched on and they're ready for a nap. We've also had patients have to go to the bathroom immediately, right after a C1 adjustment. Flipping the switch on but for a different area, right? <laughs> so in conclusion, the vagus nerves are the major regulators of our parasympathetic nervous system. And the scientific community knows that if we can stimulate these nerves, then we can cause systemic parasympathetic reactions throughout the whole body, right? That is very, very important because we live in a hypersympathetic, hyperstimulating state. So if we could somehow turn this switch on, then we would be able to relax, be less anxious, have less digestive problems. 
An upper cervical chiropractor can precisely align the C1 vertebrae, which will, in turn, affect vagal nerve tone. So getting an upper cervical adjustment is a non-invasive way to stimulate these vagus nerves and gives you more information about how an upper cervical chiropractor can stimulate these vagus nerves and help you get into that parasympathetic state. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my page and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified the next time I post a new video. I'll see you next time.